Hey yo, what's up fellas? It's Kia here, and uh, today we're going to be starting a new series on here, this time on a hardcore character. I feel like I should probably apologize for just disappearing without really saying anything, um, but uh, yeah, I had some real life stuff going on. You know how it works, or how it goes. I'm not sure exactly how to start on a hardcore character, but I'm guessing thieving is going to be a good way to do it, just to get some money. There we go, we just got level 80 thieving, which... Means we can get an Addy Scimitar, which is, you know, pretty cool, but I really don't know why I did that. <laughs> there was really no point going all the way up to 80. Sure, we got 7.6 mil, but the thing is, I'm pretty sure what you can do is just trade the Slayer Master. You go equipment, you buy a Slayer Staff, you can wield it right away. Apparently you can't, I thought you could. We just need to get 50 magic, I don't think you need the Slayer requirement, but that is as good as a Rune Scimitar. So if we just get 50 magic, we basically have a rune simi. So I don't know why I got a natty simi. simi. It really doesn't matter that much. I'm just going to go ahead and pickpocket the master farmer for a bit now. We shouldn't fail all that much considering we got ourselves 80 thieving. And as we know, starting out with uh, farming pretty early on is really important on an Iron Man. I did forget food though, which is not great. Boom, there we go. I just hit level 60 woodcutting. Um, I took some of the seeds that I got from pickpocketing i put them into plots i got level 30 farming off of that and while i've been waiting for those to grow i started working on fletching and wood cutting so that's what i'm doing right now i kind of want to get to level 80 fletching just for that magic short bow that would be awesome to have like early on so i can use it as soon as i hit whatever it is i think 60 ranged i think you need 50 ranged actually so that would be really nice i don't know if i can do that right now though because 80 wood cutting is pretty far away but we'll see at least i can actually go into the guild now the woodcutting guild i can go in there i don't know if i can buy a rune axe in here but hopefully i can i don't think so though no okay my audio stopped working here for some reason so just enjoy this reel of me hunting for like 10 seconds Alright, so I just managed to get level 73 Hunter right here. I'm going to go try Black Chins, but uh, I just want to make a quick note of this. Um, I'm earning about 2.4 mil XP an hour right now. I reset it the moment I hit 72 because I wanted to see what the XP per hour is at Black Salamanders. So it's about 2.4 mil. I'm going to reset it again. I'm going to go do Black Chins for a little bit and we're going to see what is actually the best. Because I know last time I did Black Salamanders, I was pretty confident that this was actually a lot faster than Black Chins, but... Let's put that to the test right now. All right, I've been doing black chins for a while now, and as you can see, it's about 2.2 mil XP per hour, which is, it is slower than black salamanders. I will say that, but this is also a lot more chill than black salamanders. Apples to oranges, really. Alrighty, boys, we just got level 80 hunter, which is amazing. I'm just going to get these last couple chins, and then I'll show you why I got level 80 hunter. Wait, what is level 83? Shit. What the hell is level 80? Oh, herbivore. Alrighty, this should be level 83 hunter right here. And it is. So we can actually do Dragon Implings now, which is awesome. I decided to try out Herbivore for level 8300, just see how many herbs I got, if I got any good herbs. And uh, from 23 of them, these are the herbs I got. So we got 17 Lantodime, 11 Catatine, 9 Quorums, 26 Raynars, which is really, really, really good. 9 Irrits, uh, some Snapdragons, and some Torstals. So it's not that bad. Pretty good. Pretty happy I did that. Okay, here we go. First Dragon Impling. And we get a DDS. Oh my god, that is actually so good. Oh, and we just got a glory, baby. Let's go. I've been running around in Puro Puro for about seven minutes now, I'd say. And uh, there's only been the one Dragon Impling, so I'm starting to think that this was a bit of a waste. <laughs> Alright, let's grab our first layer task for the fuck of it. See what happens. 48 Hill Giants. Dude, that's actually the best task I could have possibly gotten. Okay, so I just did the ECRD diary, so I'm pretty sure the one you talk to is the achievement manager. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, so we get the Arctic Cloak 1 and we get an XP lab. Um, so the Arctic Cloak is going to be good because it gives us, I think, a couple stats. Yeah, not the best stats, but at least we're not naked on the back. And then we got this lamp too, which I don't know what I'm going to put it on. Um, probably runecrafting, because I don't like the early levels, and that should get us, oh wow, level 33, that's actually really good. Anyway, let's start training some, some combat stats. So the first trip of Hill Giants is done, so let's see how much XP we get per bone. Real fast here, 517, not bad. 
All right, coming on to the last bow, and it looks like we're going to be just over halfway to 40 prayers, so one more inventory of hill giants should do it. Okay, these few bones here should be the last couple that we need to get level 43 prayer, hopefully, if I did my math right. I got like two extra, I'm pretty sure it might be one extra. We'll see, we'll see. I did fail math this semester, so <laughs> there's that. But this one should get us a level, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So we got it. Um, I guess now we're going to try to do Lunar Diplomacy real fast. Trying to protect from melee. Talk to her. You're not ready. Okay. Okay, so I've been uh, mining Rune Essence and making it into Mind Runes for a while now. This should hopefully be enough to get me to 65 magic. I think it should. I'm not 100% sure, but... We'll see. I highly doubt this was worth the uh, time I spent, but my ass just decided to mine a bunch of rune essence, turn it into fucking chaos runes just so I could train <laughs> magic a little bit faster than using wind strike. So now I can use wind bolt for 595 casts, which yeah, yeah. Let's see how worth it that was. Jesus. So I just finished another batch of 500 chaos runes. The last batch got us to 58. And there was a magpie just right here, and I got an MSB from it, which is actually really, really nice. This should be the last bit of room crafting I'm going to do in a while right here. Um, <laughs> I got all the way to 65, which is nice because now I can do death runes. But what is nice is that I've gone from 1 to 53 mining, 144,000 XP, just by mining and crafting runes so I could level my magic up to do Lunar Diplomacy. I'm pretty sure that's a good thing, though, because I think that Lunar Diplomacy gives you access to actually buying runes. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe that's the case, which is going to help a shit ton. Now I just need to go from 63 to 65 magic real fast. I also need 40 defense for Lunar Diplomacy, and I'm going to go ahead and get that right down here in level 1 Wildy while killing uh, Disciples of Iben. That way I can get myself an Iben stab, which is going to be helpful because I want to get into Barrows pretty, pretty soon here. Okay, there it is. That took a long time, actually. Well, not that long. If you look at the XP gain per, for XP per hour, I don't know how long I was here, maybe 15 minutes or something. But I killed a lot. It took a little bit, but we got it. We also got a shit ton of caskets, too, which is awesome. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's just go ahead, pot up again. Protect from melee, and then... Let's just go ahead and teleport. Hopefully this works. Hopefully I don't get smacked about, but we'll see, we'll see. That should have been the last one right there. And it is. Very, very nice. Now we can get a Nessie Helm. We can't wear it, but we can buy it, which is pretty good. Alright, while we're at it, we might as well do Mountain Daughter as well. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we can get climbing boots and we can get proselyte, which is awesome. Looking pretty bees now, aren't we? So I saw this earlier. View daily rewards, right? And apparently you can get daily reward styles. If you log in and you get a streak, you get stuff for it. So I can get a crystal key. I can actually claim all of them at once, which is nice. So we get a crystal key and we get 25 prayer potions. So let's go ahead and open that, see what we can get. A room plate scare. That is actually really good. Okay, level 50 range has been reached. Huge moves. We can now wear the uh, magic short bow. But yeah, so now with level 50 range reached, we can actually go ahead and do monkey madness, which is going to be great because we get the dragon semi. I also got some rune arrows for it, which I got from uh, a maze random. I really hope I have enough arrows, because I don't really want to go into melee range. Or anything like that. But we should be okay. I should hit pretty fucking solid. Two more arrows, let's see, can we finish them off? We can. Can I actually go pick these up before I get tallied? No, unfortunately. But we do have the uh, dragon scimitar now at least, which is great. I lost like all my rune arrows, I have one remaining. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that. But yeah, we got the dragon semi. I'm going to go ahead and work on some mining now and get um, my smithing up so I can make a mithril set of armor. I don't know what level that's going to be. Pretty high, it looks like. Yeah, 68. Hmm, I'm going to need to rethink that. I want to try upgrading my Iben stuff. I think you talked to Augury or Aubrey about it. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, that looks good. 3 million? Sure, why not? Why not? So now we have that, um, let's go ahead and try doing a bit of Barrows. Our stats are pretty low, so it might not work out, but we'll see. Holy shit, Barak got hands, bro. He's fucking me up. Let's see, first one done. What can we get? Anything good, please? Hey, I mean, I'll take it. Numero dos right here. Have a look. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. 
Oh. <clears throat> I did not expect that. Um, apparently, you can actually buy ores at the Blast Furnace if you want to. That's really nice. I did not expect that at all. Super expensive, though, so I'm just going to go to uh, Motherload Mine. Okay, wow. I decided to try this, actually, because Iron Ore was pretty cheap. And uh, you can add 100 bars, right? So it's going to smell 100. And then you can have another 200, like, in stock. So... <laughs> Hang on, just watch this, watch this. This is gonna be a fucking fat XP drop right here. As soon as I start taking these out and moving them into the uh, chest over here. Oh my goodness. 40,000 XP drop, bro. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> fucking grind, bro. I just got the rock golem pet. 187,000 XP. <laughs> so I've been AFKing here at uh, Sand Crabs for... Quite a few hours now, I've just been training ranged. I mean, she gets a level 80, which is pretty cool. Not really sure why I did that, I just <laughs> I wanted to AFK and I'm better to do so. Yeah, I guess now I'm going to go ahead and start mining a bit, start working on my mining to get smithing up so I can finally get my mithril set, because I don't know how, how the hell I'm going to get like an Addy set or a rune set, so mithril is probably going to be my best bet. So I got to get to 68 smithing. Bro, I just got another fucking rock golem pet. <laughs> What's going on with this? There it is. So we can finally do the mithril set now. And boom! There's the full set. Very nice. I got myself 700 warrior guild tokens right now, and if you talk to this boy Shinomi, you can actually buy yourself a rune defender straight up for 400 tokens. Which is going to leave us with 300, which is 30 minutes up in the Cyclops room trying to get a D defender, so let's get on with it. Okay, we got it. We got two duplicate rune defenders before we got it, but we got it. That's what matters. And here is the third barrel's run. Let's have a look. Oh, shit! We actually got an item! Very nice, boys. Let's go. Tank legs coming in super early. Alright, boys, we just got another one. We got the Darox Helm right there, which is pretty pog, bro. We're getting we're getting some nice stuff. Bro, what is my fucking RNG right now? We just got another one. <laughs> Dude, I have three pieces and six kill count. That is actually nuts. Super hella nutty. Cheeky little crystal key opening. Hello. If this isn't the shittest Barrow's chest you've ever seen, then I don't know what the fuck it is, bro. Dude, another item. It's dog shit, but it's another item. Like, how do I have four items already? At, at 10. 10 count. 10 kill count. Some of this crystal key for some cheeky rangers? Hello? No. Okay, but, dude, this is just, this is insane. Bro, there is no way I fucking... <laughs> Five item drops at 17 KC, dude. And I already have a duplicate, like... I can't complain because I'm like so much over the drop rate, it's actually insane, but holy. Another cheeky opening. Nothing. I just spent some time doing all the clues I had in my bank. So I had one elite, I got that from Barrows, and I had three mediums, which I got all from skilling, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and open these up and see if we can get anything good. Not really. Snapdragon seeds are decent. And an RCB. That is great, bro. I was wondering when I was going to get one of those, because uh, I was struggling with getting arrows for my magic short bow, so that's really nice. And as for the elite, we got just some seeds, really. It's not that good, but hey, we'll take it. So it's time for me to try and do Recipe for Disaster right now. Actually, can I? No. Time to do some fishing. Oh, okay. I mean, we got another skilling pet now. <laughs> the hair on. Let's go. Ooh, I just got a maze random. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Touch it. Give that loot, please. And thank you. Eh, it's alright. We're about to get level 70 cooking right here. If you look at the XP per hour for fishing, this took me about just shy of three hours to do. I thought that was going to be way quicker, but let's do the fucking quest. Okay, first one should be Agrith Narnar. Not that hard. Bro, he's hitting 34s on me. This is actually scary. He hits me hard again, I'm going to TP. Like I have to. Yep. Wait, I can't teleport. No way. I gotta use the fucking thing? Use it. I, oh, I thought I could TP, bro. Oh, dude. So, it restarted me, right? And I asked if you have to do all RFD bosses in one go, and apparently, what you can do is you just leave and kill the first one over and over again, which is stupid easy. Alright, I think I just completed it. I got a little, uh, thing that showed up. Uh, let me see. Get some cash. 
And yeah, it is that easy. You can just kill the fucking Agrith Narnar over and over again and you're done. That is... That needs to be fixed. Time for Barrows. Oh no, my fucking recording software didn't start, but we got we got a, a Varex flail. Bro, how is this even possible right now? Oh brother. Ow. God damn, the fucking <laughs> the drops are not stopping. And there we go. We just got our first tank chest, boys. Very nice. Well, there we go with a back-to-back -back once again, boys. Brother, we got another one. Let's go. How how do I keep getting items like this, bro? Like, how? It shouldn't be doable, but I'm just pulling items left, right, and fucking center. This is actually beginning to get a little bit ridiculous, bro. I'm literally just missing the helmet, and then I have full Varax. Like, let me let me show you the collection log right now. 57 KC of arrows, yeah? Like, what is this, bro? <laughs> oh my god, it's actually nasty. And another one. And we got yet another duplicate. Very nice. There's another duplicate, boys. And another one. It's not what we want, is it? It really isn't. Dude, I think this is, like, for real my fourth spear right now. Like, I'm pretty sure I had four of these. That's oh, a third one. Okay, okay. Alright, this is about to be my 100th Barrows completion. Let's see what we can get from that. We get nothing, but we do have enough points to buy a full set now. So the set we're hoping for is obviously either Arams or Carols would both be amazing, but... Knowing my luck, we'll probably get Torax, but let's just go ahead and do it, and we get Derox. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.